It was really a great experience for our BYU-Idaho students to participate in the Denver Come Alive Outside Design Challenge. One of the, the great aspects of it is that we can incorporate it into our curriculum. It's been my experience that most students want to change the world. Well, this is the medium to do that. This is the way that they can impact their surroundings. Drop these plants down. I found one for uh, like... So my favorite part of the, the project was being able to work with uh, the students and to interact with them and then be able to see what they would want in, in their type of environment. So first we went to the school to start the design process. We needed to have a site analysis. This we got to do with the students. We started off with a conference and DJ Kavum came and I thought it was really good for the kids to see that because he came from their neighborhood and he pretty much accented what their needs were and kind of helped them realize that yeah we need to eat this good food and brought home the theme of the kitchen garden and why the kitchen garden is so important. The most important part of the design process that we experienced was the time that we actually spent on the campus and meeting with the students and the faculty members. They took us around, showed us where they hang out, what they like, what they don't like. We were able to see them in more of a casual environment, interacting with each other, interacting with their teachers, walking around their campus. And we were able to use that interaction and incorporate that into how we wanted our design to flow. After meeting with the students at the school, we met over at LifeScapes with some of the industry professionals over there. They were able to kind of advise what we were doing, so they kind of oversaw us working with the kids and we could consult with them. We had a brainstorm session with the kids. They were able to fully express what they wanted in the design and they had a lot of fun with it. We just gave them the marker and we're like, go for it. Just draw what you want to see. And I think that's kind of where most of their creative thoughts came out and they came up with some really cool things that we ended up actually putting in the design. And then later that day, we went and we designed the main parts. And this is where we collaborated with all of our peers from the other schools and came together with the design initially. We spent time our last evening there working together to put together a design process, to put together the whole design and then present that to the community. We presented to the community the next day and we had a few community members that showed up and told us what they'd like to see with it. They have high hopes for the students, just like we do. Meeting with the community was really helpful to be able to see what those around the school who aren't necessarily personally invested in the school wanted to see. But our phase one has to be the community kitchen. Yes. So that's Back at the school, we worked together with all the different ideas that we had seen, what worked, what didn't work. We put them all together into the design that our school wanted to present for this prep academy. We wanted our design to really be interactive, and so to help kind of show that, we created this 3D model that was going to help everyone to visualize exactly what we were feeling and what we thought as we created this design. And so using this modeling software, we're able to kind of walk through and see all of the different environments that we're working in. I really thought about how PrEP can fit into the changing footprint of the neighborhood and community and really thinking about ways to reach out. But I think the next step for us is really with this design challenge. How do we change the narrative about what people see when they come into our space? With the Lazy River idea, we really incorporate that into our design by making a flowing pathway through the landscape that the students can enjoy and relax and come take a break from there. The way we incorporated the ideas of the students into our design is, for one, the art exhibits. We wanted to be able to have it so that students would be able to see their art displayed and kind of showcase that, as well as showcase that to the community so they can and are able to see what the students are up to and what they're doing. So one of the funnest part of the design that we did was finding ways to create nature in a small space. Providing opportunities for the kids to be able to find areas to sit, to walk through nature, to touch the plants, to smell the flowers, was a, a big theme that carried through our whole design. My favorite part of the whole experience was working with the kids and it was great to see how they felt about something that they interact with every day. And so they just shared what they liked and what they didn't like. And I'm just so excited for them because we're trying to make that dream come to a reality so that they can enjoy their school.